Hello, Superherd, and welcome back to, to, to Split. No, 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 we're in Splatoon 2. Welcome back to Splatoon 2, and today we're gonna be hopping into the online mode. For me personally, the first time here the game is launched today as of recording this and as of, you know, playing it and uploading and everything, Splatoon 2 should be launching today. We're gonna be going online and just sort of winging it. Uh, I haven't played Splatoon online since Splatoon 1 launched, basically, for what I remember. Uh, so we're just gonna try it out and see how I do, probably in some regular battles. I'm sure soon coming up in the series we'll be doing friends, private battle, online, lounge, whatever that is, and of course rank battle, ooh, league battle. Interesting, so we got a lot of stuff to get into, but we can't do any of that until we level up and get better rankings and all that. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, we can check out, you know, everything that we got going on right now. It seems like there are multiple stages available right now in Turf War. Um, right now it's Sturgeon Shipyard and Starfish Main Stage. Now I don't know how you can change. I guess you can only do Turf War in regular battle. That's fine, that's fine. And of course we can go to our equip menu and check out what we have going on in there. Now before I get into anything, if you guys have any tips or tricks or opinions on how I'm playing, feel free to let me know in the comment section below because I do want to improve it. Splatoon 2, but I am pretty awful at the game right now as of recording this, so there might be a little bit of spoilers before I go to the next screen. I have completed story mode and you know there are some items I have unlocked for doing that. So if you don't want to watch this video just yet because maybe you're still finishing story mode or watching me play through story mode, be sure to go ahead and stay tuned. Episode three of story mode should be coming up maybe later today and we should be able to finish up the story mode completely within the next day or two. Now I think, once again we're getting the spoilers here, I think it's the same reward as what we, we got in Splatoon 1 where if you finish the story mode, well no that's not true. Okay, so in Splatoon 1, when you finish the story mode, you actually end up getting the Octoling costume. Here you actually get your sort of like your hero uh, replica. You get a, like a replica of the hero suit. So this is what it looks like. I think it actually looks pretty cool. I think that we're gonna show that off in its own video. So let me know if you like wanna see cool showcase videos like that. For right now, we'll keep everything be basic, but they do have different effects. Like if I go to ZL, you can see it actually has, like this has special saver, this has ink saver. So it's not like we're missing out on anything by keeping what we have. I don't have any amiibos or anything. So we're just gonna keep everything how it is when it comes to weapons. This is all I have because in the online mode, you have to earn up coins to buy things. So I guess we're as good as we're ever gonna be. Let's head on to the online mode in some turf war. Either gonna be Sturgeon Shipyard or the other one, just a regular battle, let's go. Okay, there's actually a surprising lack of level ones here. I am playing sort of like, I'm at like 9 a.m. EST this time, so at this point I'm sure most people who have work or I guess not school, it's July. I always forget about that because I'm not at school anymore. So I guess most people will be available. I was I was wondering, I was like, oh, will people be playing? It's like it's launching on a weekday, but it's, it's the summer. People have all day to play. So hopefully we do well. We're playing against other newbies and that's gonna help me out a lot. Beyond that, I've actually had the advantage of being able to play through the story mode and getting through and used to that. Most people, obviously, the game just launched for a lot of people. Some people are still downloading it. I know the eShop has crashed for a lot of people. I think that so many people rushing on to buy Splatoon 2 literally crashed the eShop, which is insane. We're searching for one more player. Who's gonna be the last one to make this group? I'm not sure. We'll talk more once we get into the game mode though. Okay, so we're finally in a game. It actually timed out completely. There was one person left to find. It did not find that person in like two minutes worth of searching. Then I joined a new game and it found it immediately. So now we're in. So this is my first time playing today. I actually have not played this map, not in Splatoon 2. There's a Splatoon 1 type kind that we have played. So we're gonna try to do our best. Once again, I don't really, I didn't even get the chance to see who we're playing against, but it looks like we're actually playing with people who have more than the base weapon while we're playing against people who only are using the base weapon. So I guess it might be good to assume that we might have the higher ranked players, but oh boy, oh boy, come on, come on, come on. Got you. So I actually don't know what this superpower does. I haven't seen this one yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up on ink, but I actually got a splat. Let's take a moment to appreciate that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go into this mode. I'm mad. I went super ink saiyan. Okay, you know what? How about I get out of here instead? So I'm doing decent at getting some splats, but what I'm not doing so decent with is getting some uh, turf covered. So I need to change that up as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is of course to throw some bombs. Hello, sir, you got me. Oh, so I'm one splat in. I'm also, you know, of course, taken out one more time, but I'm already having fun. And I can't wait. We're gonna be earning up coins. We're gonna be gaining levels. I wonder if the max level is still the same, because I remember that the max level was like 50, right? And then, of course, there's ranked mode. If we do end up getting really good at this game, and of course, you guys show your support, we continue the series, maybe we can eventually do ranked mode. Ooh, okay, I almost helped with that bomb. Unfortunately, it was not quite needed. Got him, got him, got him, got him. So there is somebody down here, so I'm gonna try to plop down there and attack him as much as possible. 
They don't know I'm chasing them, now they do. Yes, got him, got him, two for one, two for one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, let's get up here. And then, boom. I don't know what that does, but I got another spawn. Look at me, I am on fire right now. I know that everybody's like just got the game. <laughs> so that's probably why, but I'm having a lot of fun. Even if it's, you know, against not as, you know, like, you know, new players, not as seasoned players. It's still just fun to do well in this game. Okay, so I'm gonna die, yep. This is the only guy who's gotten me so far. But that's okay. And they also have all base, so. Ouch, wait. Oh, I was gonna do ouch, but I couldn't. So let's throw out some booyahs. We got one minute left, and I do think maybe we're running. Actually, this is gonna be really close. Closer I see this. Okay, ow, oh, that was dumb of me. I was gonna see if I couldn't sneak by it, but that was all my fault. They are actually looking like they're winning so far when it comes to turf, so I need to be careful, and I need to focus on that. You know, we can get all the spots in the world, but if they're covering the turf and I'm not, that's what matters, so let's go ahead and do that. I hear some shooting, but I don't see where it's from. All right, so we got 30 seconds to really turn things around here, and I think that we can, as long as we don't get spotted in any silly way. Um, let me throw that over there, and then get over here, and and fill this up, and I actually don't see the enemies at all right now, which means they must be somewhere sneaky, right? They're filling up everything over there, and so it might just be better to uh, fill up everything on this side and just sort of counter them. See, I don't know what that does. It, it gives me ink armor. Wow, look at me. So now I just wanna go ahead and focus on this while I'm all armored up, and I'm getting points like crazy, so that's good, that's good. Ah, oh, that bomb should have been thrown sooner, but I didn't know I had enough ink for a bomb. Okay, oh, we definitely lost. Look, <laughs> all that purple on the right, that's all me. That stinks, we lost our first game. That's my big goal today. Doesn't matter how many splats I get, how many times I get splatted, I want to win a game. I really, really want to win a game. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Did get the top point score on my team, but I definitely see my faults in what I was doing. I went in and rushed for splats, which is great in its own way. We got 992 coins just out of that. Ink bonus, get 500p. Okay, so we got some experience there. I didn't get to read everything. Uh, I don't know what a lot about, like a lot of what this stuff is. So I'm gonna learn a lot about it. Of course, I know that coins, of course, are used to, um, buy stuff. Now, what is the point of levels besides, you know, showing off how good you are and how much you've played? I'm not sure. I think that maybe you unlock something once you reach level 50, but what about between that? Not really sure. So if you guys want to give me some rundown, some, you know, information about anything you want to, you know, share, share with the class, <laughs> feel free to. So now we're pink. That's pretty cool. We're probably going to be staying with this uh, weapon type, this base weapon type, you know, just so you know, we can enjoy it. I'm probably gonna tackle things online mode, similarly how I do in Garden Warfare 2, where each episode is probably gonna be focused on showcasing something, either that be a weapon or an item set or something like that. So let me know if you like that idea. I think most people will because I usually like how I structure my Garden Warfare 2 series. Where are you? You are down there. You don't even know I'm here yet. Oh, I got him, the above. No, somebody did the same thing to me. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> and it's the same guy as last time. This is the only guy who's got me today. He's my kryptonite. But I just, you know, look down on him. Not not in the you know way that I don't approve. Not that kind of looking down, that'd be rude. Uh, but in the way that I just looked down and I saw him and I spotted him. So I got the armor. So next time I'm in a sticky situation when I'm being attacked, I need to pull this up. That's something good to keep in mind. Because I thought it was just sort of something like a power up. You know, I'm just going crazy powerful or something. So let's uh, throw that up there. And I was sort of a random throw, but it might be worth it. Right now they have the height advantage if they're on this middle platform, and I don't like that. Because of course that means they can get some stuff done. That guy got splatted. Good job, good job. And so far, once again, we are the team with actual multiple weapons. So we should be winning. Because that means we have probably higher leveled players. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I'm low on ink, so I'm gonna back up. We do have a character with a splat roller, so I think keeping turf should be easier and better. Come on, come on, come on. Got you a little bit. Armor, no, I pressed the button. I sort of freaked out because I was gonna press where the uh, joystick is for like PlayStation and, and <laughs> there was no joystick there. So I did press it a little too late. I will admit that's my bad. But let's see how many points we can get also. You know, filling up will give us more points on that top right. And that seemed to give us an experience bonus. So that's good. And whenever my point is going up, I can assume that's, you know, that counts for turfing. So that's good, because if I do it on the wall, it doesn't count. Um, I gotta be careful because there can be people who sneak up behind me here, because this is sort of their section. Like, they spawn in on this side. Oh, oh gosh darn it. That They just pop up so quick. That is really tough. Because I was gonna try to go ahead and, you know, pop out and use my armor, which is definitely a good strategy. It isn't bad, it's just a matter of, you know, doing it correctly at the correct time, correct place. And that's gonna take some time, of course, mastering that kind of stuff. Hey, 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 that was sneaky of him. No, 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 no. 
armor, go. Okay, I have armor and he still got me. What exactly does, uh, the armor didn't seem to help me too much there, maybe I was already super low on health, but this guy is really good. You know, whenever they have a clan, a clan name in their uh, thing, you can usually tell that they're gonna kick my butt. <laughs> That's just sort of how it works, the status quo thing. See, see, he has his armor and he was able to beat me up again. Don't know what's happening there then. Oh well. <laughs> I just need to win one game today. I'll probably find a new lobby after this so we can cycle through new players. But yeah, if you have Splatoon 2 and you've been jamming out online, let me know. Let me know what level you are, you know, some of the combos of, you know, clothing and all that kind of stuff, your favorite weapons you've been using online. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so there's that done. And what's that gonna get us? Uh, not a win, that's for sure. I didn't do as well that time, I think, comparatively to the previous round. That stinks, but last time I got the highest score on my team, will that continue here? I'm such an angry, angry inkling. Um, yeah, I'm the high, no wait, no I'm not. I'm the second highest score, that's fine. And it was the same person who's on the clan of the, that is weird, clans are scary. So we got a level up, and we got another like a thousand coins. Okay then, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and exit. But it's cool, we're getting level ups. Okay, so we're back with more. Of course, we're only gonna be bouncing between these two maps because that's how Splatoon works. It's better in this game than the previous, but how it works is that, um. There's only two maps available per game type, so there's gonna be a different two maps available for uh, ranked. So it just sort of encourages you to try different game modes. Not only that, but you know you get to come back every hour or so when they have a cycle of two new maps to try out. So that's always fun. It was worse in Splatoon 1 because the cycle time was much longer, and that wasn't fun. But we already have our armor nice and ready. I'm gonna try to activate that you know, right before we get into battle. That's sort of something I noticed about the people who beat me up, is they used it right before somebody attacked them. So I have this nice and ready. Um, and I want to still make the first move, because I've noticed that in a splat battle, usually the victor is the person who made the first move, if it was made correctly. Ah! Like that, he sort of swung before I did, and he really snuck up on me good. Not only that, but I think that when it comes to sneak attacks, the roller's better, because it just takes one slam to get him. But that's really weird, is that it took one slam even though I have my armor, so what's the point? Maybe I'm not really looking at this whole situation as good as I should, maybe the, the idea of armor, that was a good splat, is that I can walk on enemy ink a little bit more easily, because that's a big thing, is if you walk on enemy ink, you'll actually be slowed down. But so far, I think we're winning. I don't see any enemies, and we are filling this up pretty well. I don't want to plop down there just yet, though. Uh, I'd rather, yeah, go like this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I think that was with the help of some other people. I don't know what's going on with my body right now, because like, yeah, like I was glowing there for a little bit. Is that just sort of like a passive effect with this superpower? Cause that'd be really weird. I don't think I didn't think there were any passive effects. You got me good there, but you're using a different weapon. You're using the splatter shot. Well, I think I'm using like the hero shot. I forget what our weapon is called exactly. But yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna you know structure everything. Is we're just gonna go ahead and make it so that uh, oh this music is so good. Is that everything is showcase based? You know, every episode will have a specific purpose more than just oh I'm just gonna play online and have some fun. That way you know what the you know what you're tuning into, and it should be a better experience for you. And also, if anybody is looking for like a specific showcase of the roller or anything like that, they can find that, and that should be nice and helpful. So hopefully you guys agree. I think it'll be the you know best thing. Okay, so you don't see me sneaking up on you. Where'd you go? You went down here. Yes, you did. Oh come on, get you, get you, get you. Yeah, that was good. I just had to keep on her. So let's get over here and fill all this up. And also expect some more episodes soon. As I said earlier in today's episode, episode three of the story mode should be coming out very soon. Episode one and two are already up and there's only five episodes because I do the whole thing, or I do a whole sector in one video. That was dumb of me. <laughs> but, um, so keep that in mind. There's plenty more Splatoon videos coming soon. And there's a brand new game mode in Splatoon 2 that was not in Splatoon 1 that I haven't shown off as of this video. And that is called Salmon Run. Salmon, Salmon, I have a very hard time pronouncing that word for whatever reason. Uh, ah! Okay, well that bomb isn't gonna do too much for me, but maybe it can help. Now I'm in uphill situation! Oh gosh, I wasn't expecting that as a superpower. Yet alone two of them to pull it out at the same exact time. I think they I won it right at the end. Dang, I, I am going to win a, a, a round, even if this is like a three hour long video, probably not. I might give up at some point. But as of right now, I am stubborn and adamant I'm going to be winning a round of Splatoon. Oh. <laughs> at least we're my favorite color. And once again, I was the top scorer, so I feel like it's just a combination of good 
teams, maybe. I don't know. Make my way to level three, we already have 2,000 coins. Ability unlocked, whoa, that's right, you can level up your things too. So I've leveled up this gear and it will give me more abilities. It looks like you had up to four ability slots. So we're gonna go ahead and exit this one as well. Okay, so let's give this a shot. We're back on this map, which I did better on this map, right? No, I did, can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember to be honest with you, but this is a map we also played during the Splatfest, so it is a map I am a little more familiar with, so that'll be good. So also, one thing I will be trying to do is something, once again, I did in Garden Warfare 2. Expect a lot of similarities between this and Garden Warfare 2, because to be honest with you, they're similar games. They're, cla well, not class-based, but, they oh, look at that, the double splat! Look at that, oh my gosh. Pull out the armor and get ready to destroy. Get ready to destroy. Gotcha, we are on fire right now. Somebody has a slasher and is filling things up. Super huge, that was so cool, we got the double splat. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that, I'm gonna be so happy about it. Because once again, I am so bad at this game, I will admit it, but I'm trying to improve. I really wanna get out good at this game and enjoy it and really jam out on the first big multiplayer Switch game for you guys. Oh, oh, get you, get you? I didn't quite get you, but hey, I was there for backup if I was needed. So far, we are definitely winning, which is great. Um, you guys attacking somebody, you are. Good job, good job, I saw somebody coming around here, right? Sometimes slow and steady is what wins the race, so let's just wait here and, uh, and then get you, help you out. Oh, I just saved you, you're welcome. Oh, did they see the bomb? They didn't, whoa, I gotta get out of the way of the Roomba. Roomba's all over the place here. We are keeping this nice and filled, so that's all I need. Oh, oh, that almost landed on. I'm just gonna keep throwing bombs. Oh, maybe not quite as far as I should have there. And then throw that up there. Whoa, Roomba! <laughs> Roomba attack! Run! Okay, oh, they're up there now. I see that. So I'm gonna get up here then. Try to be really sneaky with this. Uh, and get you. Oh, you saw me though. Nice peripheral view then. Good job. So one thing I'll be do trying to do, similar to Garden Warfare 2, is that if we're getting this many coins per round, I would love to try to do some spending sprees. I don't know how quickly I'm gonna be able to get a million coins, but how cool would a million coin spending spree be on Splatoon 2? I think that'd be pretty cool. So that's something I'll give a shot to, if I can manage. So just covering up here count as, yeah, this counts anything, any floor of the game should count as turf, but any kind of wall does not. So like this stuff right here, that's not even covered at all, which means nobody got this. No, like if it's uncovered, that I think that means that not neither team actually got it, because it never ends up being uncovered like this. Nobody has like a water ink clearing ability. Uh, there we go. So they are filling this area up like crazy, so I just gotta be ready for them. Yeah, that was good, that was good, that was good. Cause even if they're in squid form under the ink, you can still see them. Oh, buddy, no! <laughs> I got him too. Sorry, Antonio. But of course, be sure to let me know if you have Splatoon 2 and you wanna play with me, or just the Super Hurt in general. Maybe we'll try to set up some kind of live stream soon. I mean, it is coming up on the weekend. But yeah, I mean, I've been uploading a lot of Splatoon recently, but if you're not just a Splatoon fan, don't freak out, because I do have other stuff coming up. Uh, Crash Bandicoot episode should've came out earlier today, and of course, Metopia. That series is starting soon. Okay, that's it, but I think we won. I really, really think we won. Yeah, we definitely did. Awesome, so we got my goal of getting our first win today. Boom, 50%, 30%, nice stuff. So let me see, <laughs> finally, my happy dance. Oh, the slosher animation was really cool. Awesome, so we actually did get the top score by just a little bit of, you know, a section there. That person got way more spots, but hey, I don't care too much, we got level three. Doesn't quite look like we are leveling up our abilities just yet. It doesn't really show me enough abilities, but the um, the armor, the um, garments, <laughs> clothing. <laughs> So, a couple things I'm a little curious about. Um, first off, I still have no idea what that thing next to the coins is, and I think that at the end of today's video, we will dedicate some time to adventuring in, in Gopola Square, because we didn't do that in the story mode too much, so I think now's my time to do that. So make sure, of course, if you wanna watch everything in order, feel free to um, check out the uh, playlist, because I'll be linking the playlist, because I have a couple playlists. I'm gonna have a playlist for all of the Splatoon 2 videos. I'm gonna have a playlist for just the story mode. I'm gonna have a playlist for just the online mode. That way, if you're looking for something specific, it shouldn't be too hard to find it, or if you're looking for everything, you should be able to have it too. So yeah, I'm just trying to make everything easier for you guys. So I don't know what that thing next to the coins is, and I don't understand why my weapon is dry. It looks like I've gotten like some level up on it, so I'm guessing that's really what that is, is that your weapon will level up over time the more you use it. So yeah. <laughs> Let's move into another round. Okay, more of the same, that's okay. I think we're mostly the same team. I think a p one or two people left, but I think most of the people who vanquished me last time are, uh, are splatted me. People are gonna get upset if I used the wrong word. 
uh, are on my team. The first time I'm playing has like this dark blue color, so this is pretty cool. And we just gotta remember to fill up a lot because that was sort of a big problem is that last round, you know, almost all the way down the game and there's still some areas near our spawn that are unsplatted. That should definitely not be the case at all. Now it's harder for me than it would be somebody who's using, like that guy who passed me the roller, but it's still possible. So let's go ahead and pull this out and just start going for you. Or not, okay. Um, but I scared her off. See, that's really good as well because Scaring them off means that you know they can't splat the turf, and you don't notice I'm like right on top of you. Now my aim is sort of suffering here, but I got you. That's good. That's good. All right, I think somebody was up there. Oh, there is the slasher person here. Oh, you got me. Slasher is hard to go against because honestly, that's the first time I've been one on one against somebody with a slasher. I played with it myself, of course, uh, in story mode, but I haven't actually, you know, gone ahead and gone against somebody with a slasher. So that's an interesting concept right there that I'm gonna have to get used to because it seems like, of course, if they aim upwards, they have sort of, I guess, a more vertical reach. So I wanna move to side to side when going against somebody with the slosher. So I'm gonna get you a little bit if I can. Oh geez, yeah, you're gonna run, you're gonna run, but you're stuck in my ink, so that's great. Okay, throw that up there if I can. And then once again, here's the slosher person. Okay, here they are, trying to do that. Come on, get you, get you, gotcha. That time was good, that time was really good. So I can fill up some of this without actually getting up there. Okay, so you are all, oh, that was a good timing by this guy. He's pretty good with the rollers so far. He got me a couple times, but the last time, <laughs> he didn't see that somebody was right above him though. So he was filling up this stuff count, this stuff counts right there. So like that's worth doing while I'm already running by it, you know? And I'm, once again, my armor like charged up. Let's get some booyahs out there. We need to motivate our team. Let's fill up this and then fill up that because it's not, you know, like what's more important than filling up blank spaces is also filling up spaces, oh gosh. Oh, come on, I know you're around here, I know you're around here. Armor, 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 armor. Oh, geez. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, got you. Run, 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 run. They're chasing me, they are chasing me right now, but I'm somehow surviving. Get up here, get up here. Oh, they got me. I, they have two people with the slasher? No, they just have one. It felt like they had two. But they do also have a spot dual use player, which is gonna be hard to keep up with. I'm gonna throw a bomb up there for sure, because that is gonna be a couple points for me. I don't have as high of a score so far as I did last time, but they are really bringing it to us this time, so it's hard to you know keep up with the splatting. All right, I need to get out of here because those missiles are heading towards me. Hoot! Oh, I almost messed that up. So let's go ahead and try to deal with this as much as I possibly can, and I'll probably get up here. Once again, upground advantage can be very, very big, and I don't think they know of me too much being around here just yet, because I actually don't know where they are. Um. Throw that bomb there and just start destroying you because you don't know I'm behind you until you totally disappear and I run out of ink because I'm the worst platoon player of all time. Gosh darn, I could not beat that slasher person for the life of me. I had them in my ink and I just didn't bounce out my ink tank well enough. Darn, that sinks. I think we're good for at least one more round and then we'll go ahead and explore uh, Inkopolis a bit. I think that sounds fun. Okay, final turf war of the day. We've won a few battles. I think we've, we've won two so far, just one. Just one, I think. Okay, well, let's try to make two. I know I've lost more than I've won, but once again, I'm still pretty new at the game. I feel like I do have a lot to learn. And I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be setting out to learn it as much as I possibly can for the next couple weeks as we enjoy the launch of Splatoon 2. And yeah, I hope you guys just enjoy this series. I really, really hope you do. And of course, like I said before, if you are a Garden Warfare 2 fan as well, this isn't replacing Garden Warfare 2. I actually am gonna be recording the new uh, Mystery Portal later today. So that's coming up. Of course, Rux is selling a new ability next week, hopefully. Uh, my, that's my prediction, I, I don't know for sure. But my prediction is gonna be selling a new ability next week, you're gonna be showing that off, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm getting over here, it's chasing me, but as long as we keep running, and that's really a great way to cover some turf. All right, get that, it's slosher person again, I got my revenge! Nice, okay. Well, we gotta keep it up, because they could re-revenge, and we don't want none of that. All right, throw a bomb over there, oh, I see you coming around here. Once again, having that peripheral vision's been really helping me. Not only paying attention to uh, where there's physical characters moving, but whenever you see ink of the opposite color moving around, that's when you know to strike. I got you, but you got me, so we're tied. Nobody's revenging anybody here, but I like your shades and your shoes. I think I had those shoes, but like a different color of them in Splatoon 1. There are a lot of like moved over things from Splatoon 1 to Splatoon 2, but that isn't always a bad thing. Okay, so I definitely wanna see if we can't hit like a thousand points this time, that'd be good. I've been really on top of it, I think. Filling up the turf the last couple rounds. I think it's been helping out a lot. I mean, I'm consistently being the top player on my team, win or not. I mean, okay, not top, like in terms of splatting, but in the terms of, and that was a good splat, by the way. Um, in terms of, oh, get you, get you, get you. You don't know about that bomb right next to you, nice. 
but in terms of uh, getting like the turf spotted, oh, okay, you're back in the lead. You're back in the lead, dude, but that's okay. I just, I really need to learn how to handle that, but it's actually pretty scary. It, it's gonna be hard to figure it all out. So we're at almost 700 points. We have a minute left, so I think we have a lot of time to get more stuff splatted. And I think you get even more points for splatting, of course, at their turf, because not only are you covering it with your own getting you points, but you're uncovering theirs, removing their points. Okay, you get the dualies, which means, oh, nice. Once again, I had that uphill advantage, and that seems to help out a ton. Of course, gravity is pulling the ink downwards. Hello, sir. But that won't matter against something like the roller. Okay, bad news, bad news. I'm gonna have to try to skedaddle here, I think, but you aren't paying attention to me, you're looking down, and that's another big thing. It seems like we need to focus on taking down the characters and the players who are looking down. If they're looking down, that's when we wanna take advantage because they're going to, once again, that peripheral vision, their vision is definitely limited if they're looking downwards. Now, I don't see them at all, and that's a problem. Here, come on, come on, you are almost down. I'm gonna pull my armor now. I have ink armor. So let's go ahead and, now I can still get slowed by stuff, so I'm still trying to figure out what the ink armor does. And of course, if you know, you can always lecture me about it in the comment section. We got 10 seconds left, will we win? Will we not? It looks like we're currently winning at the moment. I'm gonna have to like hop to you. If I wanna do anything, I'm not gonna respawn in time. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, but hey, it was close no matter what. If we won or not, that was a really gosh darn good game, but I think they won just barely. No, I was wrong, 52 to 34, that's insane. It did not feel like that. Holy cow, but hey, we got one more win in there. I got the top score out of everybody with over 2,000 points. I think that's the first time I've scored over 2K. Really awesome. And we're halfway through level three. We're making some great progress there, but I think it's gonna be finishing things off with playing online, but we are not quite done in today's episode because I'm gonna be going ahead and venturing in Gompla Squared and seeing what we get going on there. So of course, if you played Splatoon 1, I'm sure you're pretty familiar with everything that goes on here. We're just gonna take a brisk look at all the shops, starting with you. You are Krusty Sean, what's cracking, Squiddo? Welcome to the Krusty Bucket. I've got snacks and drinks that'll increase your experience and cash flow when you battle. Just give me a ticket and I'll hook you up with an item, what it'll be. All right, so the thing is, if you watch the story mode, you will know that I've been earning up tickets uh, and then you can earn up tickets through the story mode. I really hope you can earn them outside of the story mode because I wouldn't want to keep going back to the story mode just for tickets. But as you can see, there are a set of things, you know, a set of items uh, that you can buy and eat and they'll give you experience. Like this is battle cash increase, battle cash doubled. Really? Oh, and there's different kinds of tickets. Very weird. So I don't have any of these. I don't know, like, okay, so this doubles my battle cash. Well, if I have 10,000 battle cash, I eat this and it'll, no, 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 no. It doesn't battle the, double, double the battle cash I have. It doubles the battle cash I'm gonna be getting once I eat it. I wonder if I can stack these. Can I stack this and then add that or the other way around? Um, Interesting, and there's some of these. I have double battle experience. So if we're really looking to level up, maybe I'll use those during a live stream. Very cool. Then we can make our way to all the shops here. A knack too. Hey, that's coming up in September. We're gonna be playing that game. Uh, that's off topic, but that's the year of sequels, right? Knack two, Splatoon two. That's all you need. And we got Delfonso. Welcome to the ye old Clofy. Thou hast all the freshness of a piece of salted cod. Lo, a salted cod piece. Could it? Uh, could I but help thee? I would. Alas, I must turn thee hence. Thou hast not. Oh no, we gotta be level four. They're all gonna knock, me. oh yeah, that's right, they're all gonna knock me out of their shops because I'm not level four, so I guess we can't show off too much everything. But we can show off that every store has a purpose, that is the clothing store. And then, you are the shoe store. Welcome to Shell of Fresh, did it say? Okay, but we gotta hit level four, yep. No, shoes there, so at least we'll know about all the stores and their purpose in today's video. We won't be actually able to shop from them, which is sort of a good thing, because I need to hold my cash. But we should see the prices of everything if we can. I wish we could still browse, even if we couldn't buy, but everything's actually pretty cheap, you know, considering, well, friend, I could feel the, your aura before you set foot in the door. So this is actually a hat shop, and she is really cool. This is Flo, uh, but I'm afraid I can't sell you any wares until you're truly ready for them. Okay, then. Interesting, so that is, I guess, all facial features stuff, so you can see some cool sunglasses, some awesome hats. I'll keep all that in mind. Very cool, the snapbacks. Oh, I regret everything. What was that about? What do you regret? I don't know. Okay, so that was the hats. 
which is right here. And then we have this door, and there is, of course, Marie. We've seen that in the first episode, though. You don't have to worry about that one. Okay, so what's this gonna be? This is gonna be Sheldon, so he, of course, sells his weapons. Um, Can I buy from him? I've got, yeah, yeah, of course. You ready to wield the splatter shot? Okay, so yeah, well, let's, uh. <laughs> okay, so we can just make him hurry up. Uh, Interesting. So we can just speed through all of this. That's interesting, because you had to skip this last time. So gonna tell us all about these weapons. We learned all about these already, and I'll be making showcase videos on these for sure. Um, these are gonna be the main purpose of most of the videos, is showing off these weapons, so you can see there are tons and tons of different weapons and weapon variations and different weapon types. Expect videos on the most of these, you know, as long as they get supported. So we, of course, showed off the Splattershot Jr. in today's video, as really great fire rate, and of course, it's totally free. And yeah, you can get, this is what levels are for. So the more levels you get, the more things you can unlock in terms of weapons. So soon you, you can expect videos on Splatter Shot, Splat Roller, and Splat Charger. But for now, you know, we took a look at that shop, which is really good to know. So up here, beyond the realm of all of that, you can see first off, there's something over here, right? Ask for a bonus. You haven't earned a bonus. Well, excuse me. Oh, because that I think is relation, related to this. And this is Salmon Run. Oh, Mr. Gris, welcome to Grisco Industries, and congrats on taking the first step forwards of financial security. Oh, you're a noob. Look, I'd hire you, but it ain't legal. Besides, you'd just be a liability. Come on back once you hit level four, and I'll give you a job. Okay, so that's probably gonna be one of the episodes coming up either tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be doing our first round of that. So I'll have to record more multiplayer that will be uploaded after that. It's gonna be confusing, but hey. Hello, Mr. Kitty Cat. You probably won't have on. Um, May I be, for, be sure to weapon, visit the weapon shop when you level up? They might have new stuff in stock, okay. And then what about you guys? You look interesting. Ugh, you smell that? Something smells like stale squid. Look, I'm not trying to diss, but the crumbs between my couch cushions are fresher than you, chum. Hmm, I guess I was trying to diss. Sorry, but I legit can't help you unless you hit level four. I got a reputation to keep. You go freshen up by getting some battles under your belt, and then we'll talk. So I don't know what you do, but your name is Merch. I think that that's how you buy things from people now. Cause you know, usually you can talk to somebody or you can see them and you can, uh, you know, if you see some stuff that they're wearing that you like, you can just put it on. Or I guess you can order it. Uh, it's hard to draw with your finger. Think about how hard it is to draw with hooves. And then we got this dude in here. He was in the original Splatoon and he's just on a laptop doing something. Either way, I think we are finished for today's episode of Splatoon 2 Multiplayer. I hope you enjoyed it and more is coming soon. So feel free to let me know any kind of weapons or clothing or anything you want to show off. And of course, let me know any tips or tricks you might have for me. I would love to hear. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Splatoon 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Splatter Zebra. So now you've watched in the video and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you want to see more videos like this one, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.